गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक इन द एस एस टी क्लास ऑफ सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड टेक आउट योर बुक ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टार्टेड रीडिंग ऑफ द लेसन नंबर वन ऑफ सिविक्स द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज रूरल लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट एंड द पेज नंबर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव सो चिल्ड्रेन हेयर आई एम शोइंग यू द पिक्चर ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच वी डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास इंट्रोडक्शन रूरल लोकल गवर्नमेंट ग्राम पंचायत और दी पंचायत ग्राम सभा इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन एंड फंक्शंस सो चिल्ड्रन बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क सम क्वेश्चन सो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मैनी स्टेट्स आर देयर इन इंडिया नंबर सेकेंड हाउ मैनी यूनियन टेरिटरीज आर देयर इन इंडिया नंबर थर्ड नेम द टू न्यू यूनियन टेरिटरीज ऑफ इंडिया नंबर फोर्थ वट डू यू मीन बाय द पंचायती राज सिस्टम नंबर फिफ्थ इन विच ईयर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट फॉर्मुलेटेड रूल्स फॉर द पंचायती राज सिस्टम नंबर सिक्स गिव डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्राम सभा नंबर सेवन विच लोकल बॉडी प्रिवेंट द ग्राम पंचायत फ्रॉम डूइंग रॉन्ग थिंग्स नंबर एट हु कैन बिकम द मेम्बर्स ऑफ ग्राम सभा नंबर नाइन्थ write a note on importance or functions of gram sabha so children i hope you all are able to give answers of all the following questions so children have a look on the topics which we will have to read in today's class topics are gram panchayat composition of gram panchayat functions of gram panchayat sources of income of gram panchayat so children here i would like to discuss the objectives of today's class so children at the end of the today's class you will be able to know about meaning and composition of gram panchayat how does gram panchayat work in the village what are the sources of income of the gram panchayat children before start the reading of the lesson i would like to discuss the important terms related to the today's topics number 1 term is gram panchayat the gram panchayat is an elected body of the villagers number 2 executive having the power to put plans or laws into effect number 3 wards every panchayat is divided into smaller areas called wards number 4 alleviation to make less severe number 5 sanitation conditions relating to public health particularly the provision of clean drinking water and adequate sewage disposal and the number 6th term is vaccination a process of providing immunity against a disease so children these are the important terms related to the today's topics only now children let's start reading of the lesson ओपन पेज नंबर 107, पार्ट बी ग्राम पंचायत कॉम्पोजिशन सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस पिक्चर आई शोड यू दिस पिक्चर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑल्सो इन दिस पिक्चर यू विल सी द ग्राम पंचायत डेट इज द फर्स्ट टायर ऑफ द पंचायती राज सिस्टम हेयर द ग्राम पंचायत इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट नंबर वन इज ग्राम सभा नंबर टू इज ग्राम पंचायत एंड नंबर थर्ड इज न्याय पंचायत इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी रेड अबाउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ग्राम पंचायत डेट इज ग्राम सभा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ग्राम पंचायत डेट इज ग्राम पंचायत इट सेल्फ नाउ चिल्ड्रन लेट स्टार्ट रीडिंग कॉम्पोजिशन द ग्राम पंचायत इज एन इलेक्टेड बॉडी ऑफ द विलेजर्स it implements the decisions taken by the gram sabha so children this is the definition of the gram panchayat that is it acts as an executive body of the panchayat so children here the word implement means to give practical effect so children gram panchayat is an elected body of the villagers or the gram sabha which gives the practical shape or to carry out the decisions taken by the gram sabha so it acts as an executive body of the panchayat so children what do you mean by the executive body 
executive means having the power to put plans or laws into effect now let's read further every panchayat is divided into smaller areas called wards each ward elects a representative who is known as the ward member or panch also the members of the gram sabha directly elect a sarpanch who is the panchayat president children let me explain what do you mean by the term wards it means every panchayat is divided into smaller areas called wards each ward elects a representative representative means elected members of the gram panchayat through the gram sabha who is known as the ward member or panch also the members of the gram sabha directly elect a sarpanch who is the panchayat president who is known as the mukhiya of the panchayat thus all the ward members and the sarpanch are directly elected by the members of the gram sabha the state election commission conducts these elections all these elected people form the gram panchayat the gram panchayat is elected for a term of 5 years so children let me explain this paragraph so all the ward members and the sarpanch are directly elected by the members of the gram sabha which commission conducts these elections the state election commission conducts these elections and all these elected people form the gram panchayat and the gram panchayat is elected for a term of 5 years let's read further a certain percentage of seats in the gram panchayat is reserved for people belonging to the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes One third of the total seats shall be reserved for women. So, children, here the word certain means fixed, and the word reserved means booked. Children, let me explain. A fixed percentage of seats in the gram panchayat is reserved. Reserved means booked for people belonging to the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes, and the one third of the total seats shall be reserved for women. children let's read the next paragraph the state government appoints a secretary for the gram panchayat who is also the secretary of the gram sabha the secretary receives a regular salary he or she is responsible for calling the meeting of the gram sabha and the gram panchayat he or she also maintains the record of the proceedings and looks after the functioning of the office of the gram panchayat So children which government appoints a secretary for the gram panchayat the state government who is also the secretary of the gram sabha secretary receives a regular salary who is responsible for calling the meetings of the gram sabha and the gram panchayat and it is the duty of the secretary of the gram sabha and the gram panchayat to maintains the record of the proceedings and looks after the functioning of the office of the gram panchayat now children let's read the functions of the gram panchayat the gram panchayat has the following main functions number 1 it looks after the construction and maintenance of water sources roads drainage school buildings and other common property resources students it means it is the duty of gram panchayat to construct water sources roads drainage school buildings and other common property resources and maintain them number second it imposes and collects local taxes here the term imposes means puts Number 3 is it implements government programs related to employment generation and poverty alleviation so children here the term alleviation means to make less severe so children it means gram panchayat implements implements means we read earlier implements means to give practical shape to the government programs related to employment generation and poverty alleviation point number 4 it provides health and sanitation facilities 
the term sanitation means conditions relating to public health particularly the provision of clean drinking water and adequate sewage disposal number fifth point is it controls the spread of diseases by vaccination so children here the term vaccination means a process of providing immunity against a disease point number 6 is it provides primary education in the village so children gram panchayat opens the primary schools in the village encourage the parents to send their children in the schools Point number 7th is it maintains record of births and deaths in the village so children gram panchayat maintain regular records of how many people are born and how many people are died in the village number 8th point is it helps farmers to develop and improve their farms and cattle it helps in providing good quality seeds and fertilizers So children gram panchayat helps farmers in agriculture by providing them good quality seeds and fertilizers number 9th point is it looks after the welfare of the weaker sections of the village so children here the weaker sections means the people who are not able to earn their livelihood number 10th point is it organizes cattle fairs and village fairs for the term fairs you can say exhibitions so gram panchayat organizes cattle fairs cattle fairs means animal fairs and village fairs so children these are the important functions of the gram panchayat now students let's read the next topic that is sources of income the gram panchayat obtains funds in a number of ways number 1 it obtains funds from the collection of taxes on houses marketplaces fairs etc the word obtains means takes so the gram panchayat takes funds from the collection of taxes on houses marketplaces fairs etc number second point is it receives government scheme funds through various departments of the government through the janpad and jila parishad so children gram panchayat also receives government scheme funds run by various departments of the government through the janpad and jila parishad the number third point is it also receives donations for community works etc it means gram panchayat receives donations for community works community works means for the work of village fourth point is it obtains fees for registering the purchase and sale of cattle land and other property so children gram panchayat takes registration fees on the sale and purchase of animals land and other property point number 5th is it has a share of some taxes and fees collected by the state government so children gram panchayat also receives help in the form of taxes and fees by the state government number 6th point is it obtains funds from the sale of property owned by the community it means gram panchayat takes funds from the community on the sale of property and the point number 7th is it obtains grants from the state government so here the term grants means you can say gifts in the form of land so children these are the sources of income of the gram panchayat through which the panchayat can implement their plans for the welfare of the village now children open the page number 113 of your book see the exercise number 9th this is a village scene representing an important function of the gram panchayat representing means showing an important function of the gram panchayat so students we read the functions of the gram panchayat so can you recognize these functions so children this is your homework you have to solve this exercise with the help of video by yourself see the question number 1 of this exercise name the function number 2 is it a compulsory function of the gram panchayat 
एंड नंबर थ्री इज मैंशन एनी टू अदर फंक्शन ऑफ द ग्राम पंचायत सो चिल्ड्रन योर होमवर्क इज डू एक्सरसाइज नंबर नाइन्थ री रीड द टॉपिक्स एंड रिवाइज द टर्म्स विच आई शोड यू इन द टूडेज वीडियो थैंक यू चिल्ड्रन